What up? It's your boy Julius from the Toxic Tangents Podcast, the only comedy podcast that gives you a safe place for all your toxicity. Check out episode 32 where we get into crazy ex-girlfriend stories, all right? But guess what? Probably not as crazy as what you're about to watch, which is a sarcasm and motherfucking orgasms podcast with your host, Will Day Fresh. Now keep it locked. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Welcome everybody to another episode of Sarcasm and Orgasm. I'm your host, Will, and I want to thank you for listening and tuning in. Now on today's episode, I have a very special guest. They are two favorite ladies from Kicking It With Your Girls podcast, Miss Angel and Miss Nikki. How are you ladies doing this evening? We're good. How are you? Doing well. Doing well. (laughs) Good. Thank you for asking. Thank you for asking. So um, on today's podcast, I invited these ladies because they checked out my uh, podcast that I did. Well, my episode, Vacation-ish. I couldn't say the full (laughs) word like I wanted to, but (laughs) but yeah, you you get the gist of it. So um, whether Asia or Nikki, tell me what you thought about the episode that I did. I like the episode because... I could relate, you know, how sometimes people go on vacation and then they want to do the same things they would do at home versus Mm -hmm. being on vacation. So, like, when I was listening to it, I'm like, that's true, because I want to go to all the food spots. I want to know what y'all are providing (laughs) in your your city, you know what I mean? Because I'm there. If I'm there, I want to know what's hot. Mm -hmm. So, I was there for your uh, podcast. It was pretty cool. I really enjoyed it. Oh, yeah, me too. And I am I am a traveler. So when I go travel, is. I want to experience wherever I am at. I like to travel out of the country and whatever I'm doing, I want to experience what they do in that particular place. So yeah, mm-hmm. I'm a firm believer in that. Yeah, I it, and it came up because like I travel for work. So I'm always used to like going to different areas. Mm-hmm. And then of course I'll go to my Burger King and McDonald's, like I said. But I want to try something else, like try that hood hole in the wall. Like when I was in St. Louis, I went to this spot, probably like 20 minutes downtown in University City at UC. So, and it was this really cool kickback barbecue joint that had the best ribs. Now, I don't eat pork. I really don't. But someone was like, try them. And oh my God, like they were bone <laughs> licking good. Like it's delicious. <laughs> because like, it had like this sweet, sweet chili hot brown sugar taste to it like i just couldn't get enough like i even had to get full pork and take it with me i mean i paid for that <laughs> damn it, it was <laughs> yeah i mean we was talking about going to uh what was we talking about going to chicago is that where the uh vegan yeah. it's like a vegan restaurant there and just purely to go there so i mean yeah when you go in my opinion when you go to places you have to try what they're known for I mean, you're there. You know what I mean? Take advantage of it. Learn, just be on vacation. Let go of whatever is going on normal in your day to day and enjoy yourself. Go spend money. That's why you're there. (laughs) I I look at it this way. Like, people go on vacation, they uh, save up enough just for the vacation and that's it like they don't even say up to like have food so that's the spot yeah. that get in. and then they just go to what they know so it's like if you're gonna save save for everything you know yep. food hotels expenditures whatever but at least try different foods where you're somewhere i because i know i did especially with my work like i'll be in my hotel and um, there'd be some nights I just want to have a bowl of ramen noodles or it'd be other nights where I just want to go check out something else. So you right. never know. But traveling is a big thing, especially food. We all know this. Yeah. I, we all like to eat. <laughs> yeah. Especially because you never, you never know. That might be your only opportunity to try that. And that might be the only time you're at that, in that particular place that have that particular item. At least you could say, I tried it. Mm-hmm. I didn't like it. Or I tried it and I loved it, you know, you know. Yes. So. so from either one of you, like when y'all have traveled, what's been your um, your uh, your experience, like your your best experience and then your worst? Um, um, well, for me, like I like to travel and uh, I travel with a friend of mine who is very, very picky about the things that she eat, she eats. So it's always funny to me when we go to new places because she won't try it or she has to try something. She's like, oh my God, what is this? What, you know, or Nikki, you try it first because I don't know, <laughs> you know, so 
Like we've been places and you think it's one thing and then you get it like, uh, I'm not really sure what's going on here, but I'll taste it. <laughs> Let's see what we got. So very interesting. <laughs> How about you, Angel? Yeah. Yeah, Nikki is more so like a world traveler. So she be all over the place. But like, yeah, when I go out of town, that's the first thing I'm like, where we eat? And I'm thinking, like, we went to Vegas and we went to this lobster spot in, um, I can't remember where, which casino it was in, <clears throat> but it's called Lobster Me. And it was like, so when we went back, it was like, oh, yeah, we're going to Lobster Me again. It's overpriced for sure, sure, but it's good. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So it's I think like, it's in Paris, Paris, but yeah. Was it, yeah, was it Paris, Paris? Yeah, man. I we went so, there. Yeah. Like, that's, I think when we hit the, when we got there, that was the first thing. Like, yeah, we definitely going to Lobster Me. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm all for like planning a vacation, planning activities, things you can't do where you're from. Mm hmm. Yeah. I'm gonna give my uh, passport game up and go out the country. I heard you talking about uh, that on that. Yeah. You motivated me to go to yeah. the post office to get my passport. <laughs> yeah. Well, and I remember when I went and got my passport, I had to go get my ID, my birth certificate, and I had the option of bringing my own picture or them having take it for me. And like mm-hmm. I said, I couldn't smile, I couldn't mug, I just had to stay straight stonewall because of security purposes and I'm like the hell who cares <laughs> and then it's like they took they took my birth certificate and said well I'll get it back so yeah, I got it back yeah. and then like the next day got my passport and I have it now granted oh, that I, was you know, fast. yeah it was it was like four and a half weeks but here was the thing I was in North Carolina at the time and I got it sent back here to Michigan where I'm at so okay. it was like well I'm still gonna get it anyway but it was just the fact that like I got a passport now I can basically go anywhere as long as I have money, but (laughs) I can go (laughs) anywhere and not have any trouble. It's just like people should take more advantage because it's $180. That $180 will open up things for the next 10 years, wherever you want to go and basically what you want to do. So more people should take advantage. They really should. Yeah, you yeah, motivated my- me to take advantage when I listened to your podcast. I was like, <laughs> man, I'm about to go get it. Because Nikki been on my head, my, our other friend has. And I'm like, yeah, I'm going to just go ahead and get it. You, you know, yep. see what's out there. Why not? You only live once. Yeah. It's man. time for me to renew. I got to go ahead and get mine renewed. <laughs> see, see, homegirl over here got like a million stamps. You ain't got one. You probably do. <laughs> Very well traveled. Yep. <laughs> I don't have no stamps. I got Vegas stamps. That's it. <laughs> and, and like, speaking of Vegas, I want to go back. I remember when I went to Vegas, I went to this one hotel. It's a Rio. I don't know if it's still there or not. Um, they had this long ass seafood buffet. It was $40. I'm like, this shit ain't worth it. Man, I never seen so much lobster and shrimp in all of my life. Oh my mm, God. Mm, I was mm. there for at least three hours. I just <laughs> <laughs> I was like, can we go back? And they was like, no, we got other places to go. I'm like, fuck these other places. I'm like, <laughs> Man, I mean, this is like Vegas is um. It's so much food there. It's so many different things. It's like I I know when I'm going there, like I have a whole budget in my head for food, period. Mm-hmm. Like I know I'm gonna spend this on food. The massages, all the other stuff, but food for sure. I'm definitely going. <laughs> yeah. I think of a food is like that scene in Vegas vacation where he gets one plate, he was like, Yeah, give me some of that. Don't <laughs> <eat> for me. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yep. man. I mean, yeah, that buffet was probably everything too. So sure, you got lobster, shrimp, crab. I mean, alone you would pay more than forty dollars from that. And you said right. you in Michigan. We're in Michigan too. So how ironic is that? Oh, really? Wow. Okay. Yeah. Maybe we should do like a in session live session sometime. Yeah, that'll yeah, be dope. Absolutely. Yep. Hey, I'm all for networking. I really. <laughs> know what this is all about. Yep. 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 And but, she was saying that she was like, I think he's from like either Michigan or Ohio or Cleveland. I was like, I missed all of that. <laughs> I heard a Cedar Point <laughs> reference. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Especially if you stay around here, that's all people know is going to Cedar Point or going to California. <laughs> yep. That's it. Like, mm-hmm. there's yeah. other places to go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So if you want to experience it more, you can go over to Pennsylvania and go to Kennywood, go to uh, Hershey. Or a couple yep. other places, like there's more to do everywhere, but people are just very small minded, and that's what yep. I just don't understand and I don't like. Yep. 
especially with, like yeah. I said, when we have Google at our fingertips, like you can yes. research amusement yep. parks around you and just figure things out. Yeah, I yeah. jumped on a plane and flew to uh, Philadelphia just to do their hop on, hop off tour all through Philadelphia for the weekend, and then I came wow. home. Like, why not? Wow. You need like, to be my best friend. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> That's why when we was talking in the uh, messenger, I was like, yeah, Nikki the traveler for real. Like, I travel part-time, but she travel for real. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you, know, you still got some experience, so don't dump, downplay yourself like that. I mean, it's okay. Yeah, because... I went to Atlanta for food too. See, I'm a foodie though, so it's, it's gonna go wrong because I'm going to go somewhere and find somewhere to eat. But Atlanta food is crazy. Like the mall was cool, the other stuff was cool, but the food was like wow. <laughs> I mean, what else is there to go to Atlanta for? Hey, you exactly, gotta eat. <laughs> you gotta, gotta eat. eat. Yeah, Memphis is another good food place. So there we go. Yeah. <laughs> yep, I went to Memphis when I was in Nashville and had some great barbecue i mean i didn't stay a whole long time because i don't want to get robbed so yeah. <laughs> we watched the first 48 too that was about yeah. that was on first 48. <laughs> <laughs> but i'm serious like nah because i was in tennessee just this last year um and i was saying in nashville and the only thing i did not like about nashville was a beautiful town but it was just unculturally diverse that's oh, true really? yes yes there's not a lot of black people because downtown nashville the heart of it it's really white they got a really lot of bars of course they got broadway which very is really and, yeah, yeah. It's very country but i call it white way because that's all you see just a slew of white people walking back and forth it don't matter but then you go over to memphis you find like the really good hood barbecue spots the really, yeah. really good black food, but I just didn't get a chance to spend as much time as I want to because with me being in Asheville for work, I was doing like mids. I get off at eight o'clock and trying to find something open, especially during that time was very seldom. It really was. Okay. Mm -hmm. like, but the, yeah, I've, go ahead. I'm sorry. I said the only thing that I did that was worthwhile being there was the African American yeah, Music African -American. Museum that they have downtown was mm -hmm. really sweet. It is worth the price of admission. I think I paid $23, $24. But for that two and a half hours I was in there, it was so worth it. I found out about things that I never knew even happened. So, I mean, if anybody ever goes there, y'all should check it out. You really should. I haven't been okay. to Nashville, but I've been to yeah, Memphis. Been and I like the, um, I went to the um, Martin Luther King exhibit mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. And it, it's pretty dope. It's worth it. I, it's, Memphis is just different from what we're used to being in the north. Yep. It's it's different for for us when we go there cuz like I see things that people like the other races do and I'm thinking like man, we don't have these problems for real in Michigan. You know what I mean? Like I'm not going to move out of your way cuz you're walking in front of me. I'm not doing that. I'm from Michigan. That's my first thing. I'm from the D. I'm sorry. I got nothing. But um no, they got um like that museum is like it changes things because you're standing actually where something happened and it was so many different emotions going on in that mo moment so if you make it to uh memphis definitely go to the martin Luther king exhibit i did i did it was nice it was a nice saturday that i'll never forget it's like yeah. it was like kind of cool chill type of feeling that we mm -hmm. up here that we call a nice fall day but it's summer to them so yeah right <laughs> I went there, I enjoyed it, and like, I'm not going to say I felt bad, but it was just like, wow, this actually yeah. happened right where I'm standing. I can't Right, like it. that. Yes. Yeah, so, that's how it was for yeah. me, too. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I was- It was just time. like, you, 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 you could relate, like, you could feel, like, what happened. Like, you had some type of emotion from it, because you're standing in a place where something happened, historically. Mm -hmm. So it may not be sad or whatever, but you're going to feel some type of way about it because you're actually standing in history. And that's so crazy because you that whole tour, you go through the where he his room was, where he was allegedly shot from across the street. It was just a lot, but it was worth it. It was worth the whole thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. The whole time I was standing there, I was wondering was like Jesse Jackson would come up and be like, really, I didn't do it. <laughs> 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 it wasn't me. <laughs> it wasn't me. <laughs> Man, but yeah, so. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. Um, 
just the the whole vacation episode it just it came to me because like i said it's getting hot outside you know we in michigan it's hot to us but everybody else is like this is this is a normal summer day oh it's not <laughs> no, no no so and i was just like sitting here because i write all my episodes i'm sitting here looking outside of my window i'm like what can i write about like oh it's hot you might take a vacation oh let's take a vacation with the episode so just going with that it was it was really nice to do because you think like we want to go on vacations but sometimes we can't and then when we actually do we're just going to get away from something or somebody (laughs) yep yep Yep. that's true (laughs) that is so true (laughs) absolutely so, so yeah, that's what I appreciated like about when I was listening to it. I was like, man, like what you were saying was really true. Like go on vacation and enjoy that vacation. Like don't go on vacation and then have the same mindset from your hometown. Like just go there and live and be in that moment because you're there. Yeah. Don't so. do you you'll need to get all fixed up just because you're going somewhere different. I understand you're gonna take pictures. That's fine, but yeah, you know, take them to where they're going to mean something, not just because you think you're looking good and you need to flash for the camera. No, it shouldn't be like that. Vacation should go what it used to be, you know, some 20, 30 years ago. We're all going to have a good time because we had a long year. We're going to enjoy these two, three, maybe a month at a time here, wherever, wherever we're at. So um, vacation is not what it used to be. It's not. I agree with you. I, I think people like when they go on vacation, it's, it's not. It's, it's like you limit it based on what what you think. You limit it based on your, your resources. Like when you're going, like you said, you're going to get away from something instead of just going to enjoy that place and be in that moment. Like with the falls, like I'm a strong person when I'm on vacation. I'm not going to take pictures and be on Snapchat, Instagram, and Facebook because I feel like I'm missing those moments. Like I'll take some pictures. But my whole vacation is not going to be on social media because I'm missing it. Yeah, I would I would yeah. rather be in the moment than to go back home and be like, oh, this is what I did. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Looking at it online. No, I just want to be there to take a couple pictures. <laughs> I've had people be upset with me because they felt like I didn't take enough pictures. Like, I don't be taking pictures. <laughs> I don't be thinking about taking pictures when I'm there. <laughs> like, you want to see it? Go there. You were the same person asking me why I was going. Like, I don't understand. <laughs> well, this comes from the, you know, vacation queen herself. So she knows <laughs> <laughs> so nikki let me ask you this with you being a uh a travel connoisseur that you are where's the farthest place that you've gone uh egypt <clears throat> egypt is the farthest, farthest God place I've been. damn <laughs> now okay and it was go. a group on and it was a yep group see on. there you go there you go see i'm not the only one <laughs> 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 so was it worth it oh it was absolutely worth it it was beautiful it was like it was but it, it was like not what i expected like when you go to when you think of egypt you think of oh it's gonna be white sand everywhere you know, like we went to the pyramids there was no sand i'm like how is there no sand at the pyramids i don't understand how there's no sand here Wait a minute, it was like what? But the pictures yeah. that the white people show us, there's sand everywhere. <laughs> there is yeah. a layer of sand. There is not like, you would think like it would be like the beach type of sand. No, mm-hmm. it's not like that at all. It's not like that. Please tell me more. <laughs> I'm so <sorry. laughs> But it was beautiful. Like, it was so much to see, though. Like, especially going to see um, King Tut's tomb and all of that. We did, like, we did, we were there for um, eight days. Eight days, seven nights, and uh, we went to Cairo. And then we, I actually did a cruise. I did a cruise down the Nile. Wow. So we stopped at different ports um, in Egypt and just got oh. off and checked out different cities. And um, so it was really nice. It was really nice. See, people, this is why you need a passport to go see things you'll never see. <laughs> yeah. And Nikki be out know. for real, though. She, she'll be in another country like this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I get yelled at all the time. I'd be like, well, somebody in my family will call me like, where are you? I'm like, oh, I'm out of town. Like, I ain't tell you. <laughs> Send me a text or something. <laughs> what I told you? <laughs> like, oh, my bad. So if you don't mind me asking, not to get too personal, like, how much was it? Like, uh, with the, uh, the, uh, the transfer rate? It was, I want to, 
it was either 1200 or 1400 I don't remember exactly, but that was with the flights and everything included. It was like yeah. 12 or 1400 for like That's eight like days. Great part of mine. So, <laughs> <laughs> but it was like, like I said, it was a group on. So we had like, we put down like half and then you had like three or four months or something like that. I don't even remember how many months to pay the other half before it was actually time to go. So we had plenty of time to save up more money to take with you, even though it was like going there, give them five dollars for everything. Like I got five American dollars. <laughs> you want see people? <laughs> oh my God, see people, that's why Groupon can be your greatest travel agent because you can put half down now and then someone won't be calling you be like, where's my money, bitch? I want it right now. <laughs> Yeah, and it was like it was a bunch of us that went. It was like my friend had found it and she booked it, and then she was like gave her her number, and we just all like, oh, we'll go. And it was like eight or nine of us that wound up going in our group, so we all wound up going. She just found the Groupon, and we went to I went to Spain on the Groupon. I go to Groupon in a minute. Check it out. Like, so. there you go, Groupon. Groupon is the way. Groupon. Yeah, Angel, come on. They don't got a Groupon for passports. I'm working on so. it. I got it. I got it. <laughs> got to get that passport. <laughs> you just say no Groupon for passport. <laughs> yep. <laughs> you have to pay full fare for the passport. I'm going to have to get my passport so I can be you out. Are. I really yes. want to go to, I, like, I want to go to Dubai, so... Because I want to go there into um, Africa, I was looking I'm really going to go get it. I was looking at it last year. It was on Groupon. Mm. Yep. I don't you gotta to wait to look until That's I get my passport now. <laughs> you better hurry up. <laughs> I would love to go to Bora Bora. I love water, love mm-hmm. beaches. Um, I would just sit there because they have this one restaurant to where you're actually sitting in the water and you're eating at the same time. Like no oh, wow. tides, but just gonna come mess with you. It's nice and calm. You know, like a spring night down at the waterfront here in Detroit. Yeah, that's how it is. And that's where I want to go for my vacation. Whether I get married or I get divorced. One of the two. That's where I want to go. <laughs> Don't <laughs> matter. You're going to Bora Bora. Yep. Uh-huh. Yep. We're celebrating this marriage. We're celebrating this divorce. I don't know. but <laughs> yeah, A lot of people, but you know, a lot of people waste time waiting on other people. And that's, that's why true. they don't vacation like they should. Because you're waiting on your friends or your family or other people that say they're gonna go, and then for whatever reason, oh, I can't go, and now you didn't, you decide I can't go either because ain't nobody else going. I will leave. <laughs> like, no, <nope>, I'm going. <laughs> yeah, and that's another thing I said. Don't wait for someone to go. Just get up yeah. and go because you probably will find a person while you're traveling. Like, there could be a first timer just like you. Hell, I will go somewhere in a minute by myself. I don't give a damn. If I get <laughs> cut, chewed up, and get lost, it don't matter to me. At least I'm in a different place. <laughs> you, you're going to say I live my best life. Yes. 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 Why you getting like cut and chewed up? <laughs> yeah. Well, I made it to Bora Bora, though. So. <laughs> throw, my body the, throw my body in the river, bitches. Bye-bye. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. You gotta so. enjoy your life. You, you have to. to. Well, yes. Yeah. I'm just people, learning that late. <laughs> yeah, some people can't because they don't have money, but I guess, you know, like yeah. I said, we got Groupon now. We can figure it out. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, because well, like when we go. In advance, you can pick, you can, like, you can play on anything. You can be like, hey, next year I'm going to wherever and just start playing. Put a little bit down and start. You have to be committed to it, though, because a lot of people, that's where a lot of people fall short they'll start it i'm going and then for two or three months and then something will come up and you forget all about what you're supposed to be saving towards mm-hmm. because life can happen yes and now you know you didn't miss your opportunity just got to be committed to it well we just need to get on your plan nikki so tell us what you do <laughs> and then you know set us up with a down payment so <laughs> <laughs> okay. i worked i worked to travel <laughs> like i'm going to and i'm going to put this over travel. here because i'm going to travel <laughs> Okay, go. let me write COVID that down. COVID slowed me down quite a bit. Yeah, I think it slowed everybody down because I was yeah. ready to go. I was. There was a cruise. Exactly. I wanted to go in the Bahamas. It was like eight ninety nine total for like five days. I was oh. so ready. That is way too long for me on a cruise. I can't do five yeah. days on a cruise. I can't do a cruise after COVID though. That whole ship that was stuck out there. I don't, I don't, don't know. I don't care. I was you ready to go. go. <laughs> I was ready to go. Like he would have woke up every day. Like I'm glad we still here for two mm-hmm. weeks. Let yep. me go do something new. 
I, I don't get seasick. I love the water, so I'll be fine. Yeah, I, I don't get seasick, but I was just tired of being on the boat. I think after the, I think I did five days. The first I was like, nope, three days will be enough for me. Like mm-hmm. I was just tired of being on the ship. Like, okay, are we done yet? Like, <laughs> there's no exit for this. I'd rather just fly where I'm going and enjoy this wherever it is that I was trying to go. So. Yep. Well, I was just ready, so that's just me. That's just me. Yeah, I get it, cause I'm definitely ready. Right now, now, when you travel, do you, when you travel, do you go to Groupon, like and see what, like whatever you want to do in that city or wherever you're at, that state? Do you look at Groupon to see what they have going on, cause they be having good deals? Yeah, I do. When I, that's how I caught the African American Museum when I was in Nashville, cause they had okay. a Groupon ticket. Um, I did that. Then there was like two restaurants he had on there, which were really sweet. Now, when I was in St. Louis and Atlanta, no, because I just like started driving and went out. And then majority like for my work, if it's like on the West the west Coast, then I'll fly. But if it's here okay. in the East or Midwest, I'll just drive because like half the adventure right there is just driving and seeing everything mm-hmm. rather than just mm-hmm. getting on the plane. Granted, I don't mind. If I have the extra money to pay for it, I will. But if I could drive my own car, why not? So, right. But I, I like long rides. So, yeah. Okay. But yeah, I, I, I use Groupon when I was in St. Louis, I was in Nashville, Memphis. So, yeah, I did use it and I found a lot of good deals on there. I really did. Yeah. Like, I found this one ice cream place that I wish I could go back. It was, it was an ice cream sundae. They took a a brownie, ice cream, then they made their own house whipped cream with these sprinkles, Mm. and somehow they put nuts inside the sprinkles. I don't know how they did it, but it was delicious. (laughs) (laughs) It was so delicious. But yeah, I I found that all Groupon (laughs) reluctantly. So yeah, I did check it out when I go. Now, I won't use Groupon around here in Michigan because... I could go to those spots by myself. Yep. <laughs> right. No- yeah, you don't need a group five for that. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> but yeah. yeah. So um why have you ladies on? Um tell me a little bit about your own podcast because like I said, I did listen to your latest episode, Giving Roses. Mm-hmm. Like how did you two come together to where y'all wanted to create your own podcast? Uh, Nikki, you wanna ask her? Sure. I always um, want to know. She can ask her. Well, the the way that we came up with our podcast, well, we Angel asked me one day, hey, I'm thinking about doing a podcast. You want to do it? And I'm the type of friend, I'll be like, okay, I'm down for whatever. All right, I'll do it. Mm-hmm. And we had said that, but we didn't really start. We were just talking about it. And then one of our friends reminded us, like, hey, I thought you guys were going to start a podcast. And we was like, oh, yeah, we did say that. So I guess we got to go ahead and <laughs> start this podcast. So, mm-hmm. so we started doing it and found out that we really enjoy it. So it was yeah, it's- fun. Yeah. It's really fun. It was actually, I didn't even know anything about podcasting until I did a road trip to Memphis and my son was driving. My oldest son was driving and I'm like, all right, I need to distract myself from looking at these driving skills because otherwise I'm going to force myself to drive. And I came mm-hmm. across a really cool podcast. And then I think I, t- I called Nikki that night, like, man, we should do a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it'll be great. So. <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah. So, uh, yeah. Why did you get into podcasting? My brother, to be honest with you, uh, and I got, got got back from work, got to my hotel, and it was like, I could do one of three things. I can eat, play my game, go to sleep. It was one of the three. <laughs> so, we was talking, and him and I were, all, were really close, and he was talking about some things. He was like, well, you should do a podcast. I'm like, man, stop playing. I, I don't want to hear that bullshit. He was like, no, mm-hmm. you, really should. you got some good stuff that you should really talk about. And I'm like, okay, how did I do it? So he sent me to Anchor. And ever since then, my very first day, I recorded Stupid People, which has been my best episode <laughs> to date. I swear <laughs> I'm not trying. I listened to that last <laughs> night. <laughs> but because it was just so real, so I didn't. And the, and the, and the, um, the one I gave, the example, that girl about potatoes, like I was standing right there watching her make this decision. Like, how stupid. <laughs> are you (laughs) ever since then i just been recording and recording and it's been so nice like conversation with yourself 
and with somebody else who's listening and it just it, it flows it's natural so i enjoy it and it's all because of my brother like he's been my true backing he's listened to my episodes he tells me what i should should not be doing um he told me like i should have like a script and everything so i've gotten better because of him and because of my listening audience too so that's what's yeah. up I enjoyed yeah. your podcast. So, oh, thank you for joining podcasting for the culture for sure. That like I am so I love seeing when we get new members, and when you came in, I saw you posting a lot and commenting here and there, and I was I love that energy in the group, and um, yeah, because it's it's there to build, network, and work together. So. Yeah, there's a couple other ones that I'm affiliated with that I try to do the same, like, because I love, now I love interviewing people on top of already doing my solo episodes. So it's like, you know, interacting with more podcasters, you network and you give yourself mm-hmm. more exposure for them and them. So it's like building. And that's what I'm trying to do. But every, all these places, they want to stifle you and say, oh, you can only post search such and such and you can't advertise on their posts and they can't advertise on yours i'm thinking who cares like really who cares it's not like i'm trying to take over someone else's podcast i'm just trying to get people to come on mine we create and then i go on theirs and we create together so i'm just trying to get this whole podcasting thing down to where i understand it so but yeah. I appreciate it. I really do for you having me in your group. Oh yeah, for sure. Like that, like um we we came up with that idea because basically what you said, and we wanted to create a place and we didn't want it to be about our podcast. We wanted it to be about podcasters that are like us mm-hmm. that so we can come together. And then so you can find a guest if you want a guest for something specific or you want to grow, you want to build, you want to network. I mean, the only way we'll do it is together. Yep. So the group that our group is different from others from what we hear. When we talk to people, they say, oh, y'all let us post. Y'all let us interact. I'm like, yeah, be out here. Me people <laughs> like that's the only way we go grow. That like, is the point. Yeah, that's yes, the it, point. So it, it is beautiful. Yeah. I've, I've noticed that between like, because there's, I think the biggest one is like pod match, find a guest, be a guest, whatever. Like those three right there, those mm-hmm. two are just, I feel like they don't want you to do anything, no matter what it is. Not that I'm trying to put any, anyone down right. because it's all trying to be as authentic as possible but come on now let us just like our podcast have our individuality let us create the way we want to and i just don't think they give everybody opportunity of course with mine because my podcast is called sarcasm and orgasm so people <laughs> automatically think it has to deal with sex when yep. Right. <laughs> right. yep yep <laughs> so every time i go to post like i gotta wait for it to get like approved or not <laughs> and there's been tons of them i'm seeing like oh my god i gotta edit this one and then repost it and then wait a couple hours and then it happens oh all wow over again. yes yes i feel like i'm being blackballed for no reason i just started it. <laughs> just because of the name of your yes you know, right. just because of the name, name. You chose. <laughs> i didn't even gonna lie because i was like when i saw you posted in the monday drop your links I was uh I said intentionally I'm a, we're gonna listen to all these podcasts that whoever dropped we're gonna listen to them and provide feedback because I mean we like networking too we want people on our show too <laughs> so um right. so when I clicked on yours I was hesitant because I'm like man look at this title <laughs> 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 so when I clicked on I'm like forget it I'm gonna click on it and and I was like wow it was not what I expected so that is why you don't judge a book by its cover no. because it was a great. So I listened to like two episodes so far. I haven't. I don't go all the way back. Nikki will go all the way back to episode. Yeah, I go one. back to the beginning. <laughs> I go back. And to the I beginning. will pick up from like the middle and the and the end and see what we got going. And then I'll favorite you and listen to all of them eventually. But I mean, yeah. that's fine. I can say with mine, it's there's been a lot of growth between my content, um, my voice, me being comfortable. 
how I'm speaking. Like now I can talk and I'm not losing breath. Like when you go to stupid people listen, you can hear me that I'm losing <laughs> breath trying to speak. And then now when you get to this one, there's just like, there's no ums, there's no stoppage because I listen to my own playback before I even publish it. So I'm my biggest critic and I want it to be to where you don't hear nothing. You don't have no problem to where you can straight listen through hell even go back to the beginning and listen to it again that's what i'm trying and just like the topics that i pick there's something that you can learn from it like a couple favorite of mine is just like hi bo help a brother out free dumb you have to be dumb if you want something for free so you must be dumb, free dumb. <laughs> i like your wordplay yeah <laughs> uh, check engine like like we all have that check engine like no matter what time in your life you're at that check engine light is going to come on just no one ever realizes it until we actually realize so it's just some of these episodes they're thought provoking if you sit down and you really listen or even but her face but her face she's a butter face like <laughs> so okay I, okay <laughs> i mean no <laughs> Your wordplay is crazy, huh? Okay, I'm trying to <laughs> try all it all. <laughs> but No, I just I just like to have funny had I like to have fun with my episodes. I like to say something that you can laugh and you can think. That's where sarcasm orgasms like the orgasm you get a euphoric high because it makes you laugh and it makes you appreciate what is being said and how it's being said. But it's the stigma attached to it that just no one wants to seem to break away. So, but I'm happy. I'm proud of what I've created so far. Where you I'm should at. be. And I'm not going to yeah. stop. I'm really not. The one thing yeah. I will say is, I remember I was talking to this one guy. He was like, I think I can help you grow your audience. I'm like, cool, fine. I give him my information. Oh, I can't do nothing with that. Just the name alone. You're going to have to change it or you won't get nowhere. I said, I'm not changing it because I came up with this organically. Like like we all know, those ideas, they come to you when you just don't even think about it. And that's yep. how I got the yep. title of my name. So I'm happy with what I've created. I really am. Yeah, your content is dope. Like, I like your podcast. Absolutely. My favorite it is. So I, I did too, doing, actually. I've me. listened to about three or four episodes. <laughs> I think you should keep going. Keep going. Oh, yeah, heck yeah. That's I mean, because like when we first started, I, I think if you listen to our episode one, we have like so many different changes in our sound. You can hear our growth too. I think just the more you do it, the better it is. Yeah, so. The more comfortable you get, the better you yep, are. Yep, and you and you more yourself. Because I remember when we was trying to, re- we was recording our intro. Oh my God, I was so in my head for that intro. I told Nikki, all right, stop. You got to send a new link. You got to send a new link. <laughs> I had no idea that she could just cut it. And then just like when she edited, cut it. And we kept stopping sending links, but... Now it's just like second nature getting on here and talking. When we mm-hmm. did our first guest thing. It was kind of like, man, we don't want to be on the screen. And now it's like, okay, cool, you know? So, right. Yep. I remember when I did my first guest, she's kind of like my mentor now. She was like, Will, you off to a great start. You're doing things now in your first six months that people don't figure out for at least two years. So, I've taking a real investment myself like got rid of both of my computers that i was using like i had my old ass macbook and a chromebook that i was like trying to send you know uh links back and forth to get stuff now i have a nice one to where i can do everything and i'm so proud of myself because reinvesting i remember when i did my first intro it took me two and a half hours <laughs> i was sitting there for two and a half hours recording the same thing over and over again but it got to be to where i am now so yeah there's yep. always growth if you just believe in yourself and do what you think is better for you yep yep yep, yep. That's dope. That's real. Yeah, yeah I, I appreciate that. I really <laughs> <laughs> and now I got to the point to where I want to start having interviews and talking with people and, you know, doing recaps of my episodes or going on their podcast and doing that. But it's like, I can't get that, like I said, because of the stigma, because of the name of my podcast. No one, they want to talk to me, but then again, they don't because they're thinking I'm going to come on With their something left. Yes. Right. Wouldn't come. Yeah. Yeah. When it's not even like that. So 
Yeah. You know, I gotta gotta get them to listen first, and then they'll engage. That's what I try yeah. to do. I tell them, just yeah. give me three minutes. Give me three minutes. Listen to an episode. You'll hear it, and then we'll go from there. And it's been a, a eye opener, to say the least. It has been. That's what's up. Well, you can come Absolutely. on our podcast whenever you want Absolutely. to, sir. Absolutely. <laughs> I would love for you to kick it with us and kick it with your girls. I, I mean, I feel like it'll be a good time because this is. So, you know. hey, I'm, I'm always willing. All you have to do, tell me when. I'll be there, whether in person or we do it, you know, through this. I'm always willing. All right. That's dope. That's real. Okay, well, this but is- I, by by the next time I'll have my passport though. Before you be on the show, I'm gonna have my passport. <laughs> <laughs> Don't look like that. I'm getting the passport. <laughs> well, look at the time. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, no, no. I got faith in you, Nikki. I got faith in you. You'll get it together. <laughs> yeah, but, she gonna uh, get it together. You gonna yes. get it together. Yes, but I want to thank you, ladies, for coming on and joining me. You know, doing a nice recap. Mm-hmm. So, Angel and Nikki, if tell the people how they can get in touch with you, how they can reach y'all, they want to be a guest or anything, let them know. You can uh, just go to kicking it with your girls with a Z dot com, and you can get all of that on our website. My website. our Twitter name, Facebook. Oh, okay. Uh, com. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you so much, ladies. Thank you, thank you, Genki. I can't say enough for y'all coming on, doing a recap with me. We talking a little bit more. So thank you so much. And remember, people, this has been Will with sarcasm and orgasm i've been joined by the hosts of kicking with your girls miss nikki and miss angel thank you so much ladies thank Thank you you for for having having us